Most of the people are confused with the diet in diabetes. But diet plays a major role in control of diabetes apart from exercise and drugs. If you take a proper diet, I think that does, does uh, wonders to the control of diabetes. One has to take a lot of fibers in their diet. A balanced diet is very important. Try to avoid fatty things and fried food like junk food, bakery food and sweetening agents like cold drinks, uh, pastas, uh, rice, uh, chips and things like that. The beverages should be avoided and fruit juices must be avoided. You can have fruits as a whole because it contains fiber so that should be helpful but the fruit juices are no good. Trans fatty acids are there in all bakery items so it should be avoided and one can take high protein diet in the form of eggs, uh, cheese, paneer, things like that, which will help in control of diabetes uh, in the form of reducing the carbohydrate and fat in the body. So protein plays a major role in control of diabetes and in the diabetic diet. One has to avoid ready-made food and the food which is containing over the counters so that the calorie control will be better as far as the diet is controlled. So cooked food, balanced diet is the major role, it plays the major role in control of diabetes. Today we'll discuss about the how to adhere with the medicines of diabetes. Why it is important? Because if you adhere to the medicines regularly the way doctor has prescribed, there are all the chances that your diabetes remains in absolute control and there are you can delay the complications of diabetes. So adhering to the medications prescribed by your doctor is utmost important. Most of the medicines in diabetes has to be taken on empty stomach that is before breakfast, before lunch and before dinner unless informed by your doctor. And if you can do that, then the control of diabetes is very good so that the complication can be avoided, hospitalization can be avoided and the death can also be avoided. Keeping the diabetes under control, the medication plays a very important role. If you take the medicine in a regular dose, in a prescribed dose regularly, then there is nothing like it which will control your diabetes to the minimum and that will help you to get rid of the complications fast and you can also delay the complications. Whenever one takes the medication then there has to be a medical medicine calendar which has to be ticked every day so that you don't forget that any medicine has been left over or you have forgotten to take any medicines. If possible, you can have another person in the family who can check this and uh, you can have uh, medicine bottles and one which the doses have been completely written and you have to follow those medications in that manner so that you can control your diabetes well and there is no lapse in the medication so that there is no late complication or early complications of diabetes in the form of very high blood sugar or very low blood sugar and the blood sugar remains under good control. Whenever you are traveling, you make sure that you, med you take medicines more than the days you are traveling so that in case of delay of return, you don't have to rush around to get the new medicine from the place where you are, where these medicines may not be even available so that the, you can continue with the same medicine which you have been taking regularly so there is no lapse in the medication. Today we are going to discuss about how to prevent diabetes. What are the tips to prevent diabetes? First of all, overweight is the most 
important factor in causing diabetes. So one should know the ideal weight and one should reduce the weight to the ideal level. If you can do that, the majority of chance that you may not develop diabetes uh, in future. So overweight is very important and weight has to be under control. Second thing is diet control. If you have a good control over diabetes and uh, of and diet, you, you have to cut down the fat, extra sugar, bakery items, fruit juices, uh, packed food, uh, cold drinks, uh, things like that. If you can avoid, then there are chances that you can prevent diabetes. Having a nutritive food always, always helps to prevent the diabetes. Another thing is the avoidance of vices like smoking, alcohol, tobacco. All these three things must be avoided in order to avoid diabetes and other complications of diabetes. Above all, there should be a regular exercise in the form of walking, swimming or cycling about 45 minutes to one hour daily without fail. Even on the holidays, you have to do the exercise because safety has no holidays. So one has to do a regular exercise so as to cut down the extra calories which you have taken in the food and to keep your body fit and cut down the extra sugar which is there in the body which is circulating and for the action of insulin resistance uh, the exercise is utmost important.